Hey family, what's happening? So in this video, I want us to take a look at the top five cybersecurity certifications that you need if you're just getting started in cybersecurity. But before we do that, I want to show you something. This right here is a cybersecurity certifications roadmap that was put together by Paul Jeremy. Thank you, Paul. And when you take a look at something like this, especially when you're just getting started, you simply are just going to get overwhelmed because this thing have over 400 certifications. Now, when you're just getting started, your question is, OK, which certification should I go for first? To my surprise, a lot of people are being told that they should go for a security certification, something like a security plus or SSCP. And those, I guess, those are OK at devices. But my question to these people is that what are you going to be securing? Because when it comes to security, security is like building a house. If I were to ask you right now, what is the most important part of your house? A lot of you will say the foundation, right? The most important part of your house is the foundation in order for you to have a solid house that's going to last for a very long time you've got to have a strong foundation the same thing apply when it comes to cybersecurity in order for you to have a solid cybersecurity career you've got to learn the foundation so and simply put it this way when we're securing stuff we are simply securing the foundation we're securing the basics so I often tell people or students that, hey, look, go back and learn the foundation before you jump into cybersecurity. So what are these foundations that I'm talking about before we jump into those uh, top five? So the first thing you should learn is the equivalent to the CompTIA A+. Right? So you should learn about hardware and software. So things such as mobile devices, hardware or computer hardware. When people are talking about motherboard, CPU, RAM and these things, you should know them. Right? Virtualization, cloud computing, all these little topics, you should know what they are. And of course, software, right? Operating systems, you should know about Windows, Mac, Linux, as well as DNS, DHCP, Active Directory. These things are important when it comes to security. Another thing you need to know is networking. You've got to know how two computers talk to each other. So when I were to send you an email right now, what are the protocols, the things that the email has to go through from my computer to your computer, right? You've got to know that things such as the OSI model, TCP, IP, the three way handshake, UDP protocols, ports. These things are important and you can get this knowledge from the CompTIA Network Plus and the Cisco CCNA. You don't have to take the certifications, although if you can, that'll be fantastic, but you just need the knowledge. Another foundation skill that I think is very critical is the skill of Linux. You've got to learn Linux. Funny story, when I was learning this stuff, I really try not to learn Linux. So I will do everything I can to try to avoid Linux. And every time I'm even using Linux, I'll use the GUI version, something like Ubuntu. So I can just click, click, click and done. And what I found over the years is that really you've got to know Linux. It don't matter where you end up in cybersecurity. You've got to have some Linux skills. Now, do you have to be like a Linux guru? Absolutely not. But you've got to know more than basics. So things such as navigating the file system, working with the bash, the Linux terminal, right? Installing tools, removing tools, looking at the logs with syslog, right? These things are important when it comes to Linux. Another thing, and this is the last foundation I would say, it will be a little bit of a scripting. Now, you don't necessarily need this at the beginning, but it's a really important skill for you to have, especially if you're going to become like an ethical hacker. You've got to know how to automate some things, writing scripts. Now, you can do this using the Linux Bash. You can do this in Python. You can do this in PowerShell. Right? Knowing these things will also help you 
uh, in your cybersecurity career. Now, enough of the foundation. Let's get to the top five cybersecurity certifications that you are here for. The first certification, you've guessed it, that will be the Security Plus. Now, the Security Plus is what I normally call a survey class because we talk about different topics, malware analysis, blue teaming, red teaming, you know, ethical hacking, instant response, forensic, securing software, all these things are part of the Security Plus. Now, we don't, you know, dig deeper into any of these. It's more like an introduction to these things. And when you finish with the Security Plus, you will have an idea of what area of cybersecurity you want to focus on. And that's the goal, I believe. That's the goal of Security Plus. Two of the areas that you can specialize in include the blue team, that's defense, and red team, that's the offense. Now, you want to take certifications that's going to prepare you into one of these paths. Now, there are many different paths, of course, but these are the most common ones. So blue team, these are the defense, like I said. So when you work as a blue teamer, you're like a SOC analyst. You're doing some forensic type of work and all that, you know, incident response, all that kind of stuff. So the certification you should go for here is the CISA Plus from CompTIA. And this particular one will prepare you to become you know, like a SOC analyst. And you will do things such as a threat and vulnerability management, right? Kind of um, instant response or security monitoring using uh, Splunk or using uh, Elk or Elastic. Now, CISA Plus is more of a theory certification. So you want another certification that's more like a hands-on, but that is in the blue team. Here, uh, certification number three will be the BTL1 from security a blue team company. This is a small company, all right, but their certification BTL1, it's designed for SOC analysts, but it's more of hands-on certification. It's more of a practical. So here you will learn things such as phishing analysis, threat intelligence, digital forensics, uh, working with the SIEM, specifically Splunk, and instant response, and many more. You will take all these topics that you've learned from CISA Plus, you will put them into practice and get yourself some kind of hands-on experience. So BTL1 will be the next certification. It's not as recognizable as a CISA certifications, of course, but it will give you the hands-on experience. So that will be certification number three. Certification number four uh, will be part of the red teaming. So if you're going with the red team track, the first thing, you should go, the first certification you should go for will be the EJPT from eLearn Security. Now, eLearn Security was bought by, I believe, INE, but they have some of the best courses and some of the best certifications. Now, they're really, they're just like a security blue team. They're not as widely recognizable as some of the other certifications, of course, but EJPT is one of the best foundation course or certification that you should go for if you want to focus on ethical hacking. Another certification that you should go for will be the uh, CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, this one is really, really known, right? And with their recent version, version 11, I think they did a they did a really good job. In fact, now they have like a, a practical version of a CEH, which is fantastic. When I took my CEH, uh, they only have the theory version. So when I finished my CEH, I was like, I don't know if I know how to hack anything, right? But what they but they it gave me the knowledge of an ethical hacker. So it's really good for the knowledge. Uh, but also, if you just want to go for that practical version of the CEH, you, you can now, which is fantastic. So, uh, so that would be certification number five. Now, certification number six, uh, I say it's a top five, but I'll give you number six, right? That would be the OSCP. Right? This will not be a complete list without the OSCP. So if you're focusing on the red teaming, 
OSCP from Offensive Security will be one of the other fantastic certification. This one, it's hands on. This one, it's really known by the hiring manager and is really respected. So you will learn all the offensive type of um, skills, things such as bash scripting or buffer overflow attacks or passwords hacking, active directory attacks and cross site scripting attack, you know, you name it, right? All the offensive type of skills, you will learn those things into the OSCP. That's not enough. You will put those things into practice. Right, that's the beauty of OSCP. So that's one of the best certification if you're going to become an ethical hacker that you can go for. Um, another certification. Now, we're done with the top five, but this is another one to keep an eye on. Actually, I'm going to give you two more. Right? Another one would be the CISSP. you like, really? Yeah, absolutely. So CISSP, it's really respected. Um, it's one of those certifications you just don't want to go for it right off the you know the bat right you after you've gotten your foot in the door cissp it's a, one of the most common one of the most popular certification there is it's going to open a lot of doors for you it's really really known really really respected especially for the managers right people who want to kind of a, who looking for that leadership position in cybersecurity. so cissp it's a fantastic certification one last one will be a SANS certification. If you've never heard about the SANS Institute, Google them. These are fantastic. In 2020, uh, shout out to Dennis. He gave me a shot to take a, one of the SANS uh, training and hands down, it was one of the training I've ever taken. So if you can get the opportunity to go with the SANS Institute, go for it. The issue with them, it's a little bit pricey. I'll tell you that. Uh, but they do have some programs for the people of color or the people that are trying to break into cybersecurity. Uh, so the SANS Institute have programs, kind of diversity programs that you can take advantage of. I will leave the link into the description of this video uh, for you as well. If you agree with this list, put that in the description. Uh, if you disagree, you have your own little list or you can be like, you know what, Francois? No, screw you. I think this is the right list put that in a description. Let's all learn together. Uh, I'm sure some folks will look on, into the comment section and, and try to learn some things. So let me have you teach them from the comment section. All right. That's all I have for you guys for today. Until the next video. This is the top five. I'll see you guys in the next video.